People in Gowanus, Brooklyn, are demanding action after toxic vapors were discovered inside a popular local business. Residents are angry at the state for what they're calling a lack of transparency. CBS 2's Hannah Klieger spoke exclusively to the Shuffleboard Club owner, who says government agencies told him it was safe to open. We're not scientists, but we trusted the DEC. We still trust the DEC. Jonathan Schnapp has owned the Royal Palms Shuffleboard Club for 10 years. Recently, a group called Voice of Gowanus, along with an environmental data firm, highlighted public information that showed because of historic pollution, the amount of toxic vapors in the building detected were more than 20 times the allowable limit. The CDC says the industrial solvent, known as trichloroethylene, is carcinogenic and long-term exposure can cause a variety of health issues. I feel bad for the people that have worked there for years. An engineering firm hired by a developer found high levels of several toxic chemicals in the soil, groundwater, and indoor air under the building and adjoining lot. The site is being considered for future development after an environmental cleanup, but concerned residents say the state sure, isn't doing enough in enforcing a full cleanup. The law says that uh, the lands have to be restored to pre-disposal conditions. The building owner installed a mitigation system to address the problem, according to the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation. Most recent air samples collected in November 2022 show that fume levels are under control. They put in place the uh, appropriate pipes and tubing to capture the air underneath the building and then vent it out through the roof of the building. And that way you prevent it from going inside. There has to be additional testing because during the dead of winter, when the heating systems are going, it can suck the contamination inside the building. And this venting system has been proven not to be 100% effective. Members of this group say the community was never explicitly told about the hazard, but the DEC says it was mentioned in their memos, but concedes more could have been done. Our goal is really to keep the community informed more clearly moving forward. And, and what we're seeing and hearing now is that maybe our materials weren't as clear as they could be. The Royal Palm Shuffleboard Club hosts over 100 teams in its league, more than 1,000 players. When the vapors were discovered, Schnapp was told he could remain open, that there was no hazard to the public. All we were doing was following the guidance of the DEC and the DOH, who were on top of this the whole time. I mean, the DOH will shut you down if you got a piece of chicken on a cutting board, you know what I mean? The state says while pollutants remain underground here, right now there's no risk of exposure to the public, but also no direct plans to get it all out. In Gowanus, Brooklyn, Hannah Klieger, CBS2 News.